The government has gone and bought a new reforms and revised the flight duty time limitations or FDTL regulation for pilots and crews. Now, the DGCA formulates these rules that stipulate the maximum flying hours a pilot or a crew of any airline can undertake. The new rules are in consultation with all stakeholders like that of pilots, the airlines as well as crew members and after analysing the pilot rosters, the previous fatigue reports that have come out so far as well as general feedback from pilots and the crew. One of the bigger changes that have come about is the increase in the rest period for pilots and crews so as to prevent any kind of fatigue related safety issues. It has gone on to increase the weekly rest hours for pilots to about 48 hours from the earlier 36 hours. It has also cut down the maximum landing by a pilot in a particular day to just about two and has also redefined what night duty would mean, allowing a pilot to only fly a maximum of eight hours at night, which will be calculated from midnight to about 6 a.m. in the revised regulations as opposed to the 5 a.m. it was earlier. Airlines will also have to send quarterly fatigue reports which shall follow the non-punitive and confidentiality policy and also give an analysis of any kind of action that was taken on such kind of fatigue reports. Aviation Minister Jyotir Aditya Sindhya has gone on to say that India will soon be transitioning towards a new regime of fatigue management which is the Fatigue Risk Management System or FRMS which will be a data-driven approach for the monitoring of such flight crew fatigue. It will also require stringent monitoring as well as record keeping by the airlines and also for them to be reporting this to the DGCA in adherence to this FRMS regime, which is pretty much in line with international best practices. Remember, airlines must comply by these rules by the 1st of June 2024 and airlines have gone on to say that these new norms are likely to increase the flight crew requirement but of course that will leave us with safer skies to fly in. How do world leaders view India? I've long believed that the relationship between the United States and India is one of the, will be one of the defining relationships of the 21st century. The bright spot of the global economy. The growth rate for India, uh, which is 6.8 in 2022. Let's not forget, this is one of the bright spots in the global economy right now, such a high growth rate. The potential of India is enormous. And you have now a reformer a radical reformer who has the ability to transform it. On the verge of a big transformation. In this Amrit Kaal, we have a great deal of our country. A magnet for investment. I'm actually incredibly excited about the future of India. I think uh, India um, has more promise than any large country in the world. The world is bullish on India. Money control is bullish on India. Join the campaign. Tweet to us with hashtag MC Bullish on India.